All right, so here's the setup with Usain Bolt. We're gonna have him running the race. Here's kind of the picture. That should be really the first thing that you should do is set up the picture. Get yourself a visual what's going on. Now, when I had you do this just in terms of C, like I didn't have you do A and B, but just C, ultimately you should get to at the point where you can just solve for C. Um, a lot of people, what they're gonna try to do is say, all right, initial velocity is zero, acceleration is 3.2, 2.5, distance is 100, and just solve for time. Now, why can we not just do that? He right, he doesn't continually accelerate for the whole trip. That would only be valid if he keeps getting faster, 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 faster the whole time, okay? So because it's two different things are happening, you have to break it up into the two steps, the before, during acceleration, and then the after when he's in a constant speed, okay? So let's go ahead and just do the baby steps here. These should be straightforward A and B. What's his velocity after four seconds? So these are your givens, four seconds, acceleration three, two, five, VO is zero. So our uh, fourth thing we're looking for here is V, right, V final. So you take a look at what we know and you go ahead and uh, choose the equation, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. All right, so this one we have these four, we're gonna go ahead and use VF equals V naught plus AT. Okay, VF equals zero plus three, two, five times four. And what's the answer? 13. 13 meters per second. Okay, and it's good actually once you've done this to kind of maybe write that on your picture if you can. So that means that final is not at the end, right? That final is right here. So his V final right here is 13 meters per second at this moment in time. All right, the second question said, how far does he travel in four seconds? So that's our displacement. All right, so we wanna try to use the displacement equation without V final, just in case we made a mistake. That is this one, the initial T plus one half AT squared. Okay, and you just go ahead and substitute in. Delta D, this is nice, that's just zero. Plus one half, three, two, five, four squared. All right, solve for D, what's D? 26. Okay. So again, you know, if you are just trying to find C, you have to do the little A and B baby steps to find C. So, you know, try to figure, look at the problem and see what kind of things you can find to get to what, where you wanna go. All right, so letter C is the total time. Total time, right? So notice, we know everything about the first half of the race. If we can find everything about the second half of the race, then we can find the total time, right? We can just figure out the whole thing. So let's see what we know. This says V final here. What does that tell us about the second half? V initial. The v initial, yeah. So he's running like this. At this point in time, he's 13, but this is the ending. This ending becomes the beginning for the second half. So the V initial on this side, we know is 13. The keyword constant speed tells us important info. What does that tell us? Acceleration is zero. Okay, constant speed means the speed stays the same or the velocity stays the same in this case. Therefore, acceleration is zero. That tells us another piece of info. What's that? V final is 13. V final is 13. Okay, constant 13, V final is 13. Okay. Uh, what are we looking for? Time. Well, we have three things. Okay, Mr. Weiner said if you have three things, you can usually find the fourth. Does it work this time? VF equals VO plus AT. VF is 13. VO is 13. A is zero. 
so 13 equals 13. Definitely a true statement, but it doesn't help us, right? So this is one of those few times like when something is zero and then it cancels out what we want, it's not going to help us. So what do we do? Yeah, the other unknown is the delta D here. And you're going to have to just look at your picture. Right here, we found this was 26. Well, that's the distance from here to here. If we know the whole race, then if we know this, then we know this is now 74, right? So this second part, not half, but you know, 3 fourths is 74. Okay, so now we have four things. If you have four, you're always going to be good. So we have our four things. We can now find the fifth. All right, what equation? I think we actually have an option of a few equations. Delta D equals, anyone want to pick one for me? One half the initial plus V final times T. That should work. Uh, remember, this one half the initial plus V final, what is that telling us? The average, yeah. And so when the speed is constant, what is the average? The same thing, yeah. So we, well, I'm just going to kind of bypass that a little bit. We'll just say 74 equals 13 times t. And what do we get for t? 5.69. OK, is that the answer? No. no. OK, if I, anyone that knows anything about a 100 meter dash, that's ridiculous, right? You would never be able to run that fast, OK? Um, what do we do? What do we do wrong? You need to add the fourths of times. Yeah, so this was just the time for that three-fourths, the, the ending part, right? And so you do have to add in the time for that beginning part, and that'll give us a more realistic, though still freakishly small number. 9.69 seconds is the total.